macaroon coconut and onion seed, cilantro, lentils, lots of glue, and of course, all kinds of flowers. All for the 2022 Rose Parade. And if you had any doubts, parade officials say, short of a state lockdown, which no one's expected, there will be a parade and Rose Bowl game this year. You know, we've worked very closely with the Pasadena Health Department. David Eads is the executive director and CEO of the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Association. He says while the parade will be all about entertainment, clearly it will also be about everyone's health. We're asking everybody in our parade, all of our participants, to provide proof of vaccination. He's talking about the 6,600 people in the bands and on floats and horses, et cetera. We've received proof of vaccination from more than 90% of our participants. The remaining 10% will have to have negative COVID tests taken within 72 hours. Proof of vaccination or a negative test will be required at the bleachers at Orange Grove in Colorado. There will be three public testing sites there for those who need them. Same goes for the game. Lot H is where you'll find the testing site for that. Back where there's float making happening, protocols are in place, i.e. showing proof of vaccination or a negative test within 72 hours of participating. Social distancing where possible. And of course, masks. You, you've got a pretty colorful mask there. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, all fashioned out. You know, <laughs> you got to do your part. You've been vaccinated. Um, I got one. I'm going to get my second dose on the 29th. Is it a dicey time, though? Um, it, it is, but I think if you're just safe with how you take care of yourself, hand sanitize every, you know, hour or so, and just kind of keep your distance, it's fine. So as the countdown towards New Year's Day continues, volunteers are doing what they've done for years, putting the finishing touches on these floats, but doing so very, very carefully. In Pasadena, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.